with foreign partners in training and investment. Correspondent on special reports examines the plight of widows as a world map widows day. Good evening and welcome to Hente Jebode News at 7. I'm Omosola Adokai Bundele and here are the details of the news. The National Chairman of the Hall Progressive Congress, APC Senator Abdullahi Adamus, has the ruling party is working around the clock to stem the tide of the pension at the National Assembly. This was made known to journalists after a closed-door meeting with the APC caucus in the Senate. John Yakubu completes the report. The spate of senators defecting from the APC to other political parties in the past two weeks is the reason why the national chairman is here. He describes the development as unfortunate. Senator Abdullah Adamu says it is the order in the political cycle across the country but only being noticed in APC because it is the ruling party. No, no reasonable person, no responsible leader will not worry losing one member, not total two or three. At the moment, we know we are faced with the stark reality of their problems. And uh, we are, have committed with my colleagues in the National Working Committee to face the problems squarely and see the problems that are solvable who will solve them by the grace of God. Adamu's visit is expected to tame the trend. In Abuja, John Yaku, NTA News. The Oba of Bini, His Majesty Ewu Hari. The second has commended the federal government for setting up a production center for the enhanced electronic passport in Benin City. The Hoba who gave the commendation when he, he received the Minister of Interior, Raruf Aregeshala, expressed hope that the new production center will reduce difficulty faced by applicants in Edo and Delta State. Ifoma Okafo completes the report. Why the second assured the minister of the palace supports and offered his royal prayers to President Muhammad Buhari's led development strides in Edo State. The minister noted that Edo State ranks second among states with highest demand for international passports after Lagos, that 10,000 booklets of the passports are ready in the new production center in Benin, which would help solve the issue of delay in issuance of the passports. He advised Nigerians to desist from patronizing what he described as middlemen. In Benin, a former car for NTA News. And next on the report, one of the key drivers of the nation's aviation industry is expanding, is, is expanding its tentacles with a partnership with Mohammed Dade County. The move will boost trade with tourism and transportation in the country. The report. Millions of miles apart, with different cultures and terrains, Nigeria and Miami-Dade County have found common interest in the aviation space. The numerous potentials in the Nigerian aviation sector attracted key players from Miami-Dade County. This mind-rubbing meeting between experts from the Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria and a delegation from Miami-Dade County, the most populous county in the state of Florida, is all about collaboration. Sand has in a number of ways explored non-neurological modes of revenue generation and is consistently seeking new avenues for expansion of instead of depending mainly on aeronautical sources of revenue. 
the collaboration is for us to uh, reciprocate in growing our own uh, business opportunity here, especially in the aviation industry. Beyond the airports, impact of this partnership is expected to be felt in the tourism and hospitality sectors, which will boost economies of both parties. We are here to continue to build on the friendship and to foster even closer ties between our international trade communities and to foster cultural exchanges and educational exchanges as well. Hopefully within the next week, months, or year, we'll be able to have a direct flight from Nigeria, perhaps Lagos or Abuja to the United States, something that is exceptionally needed. Intentions have been made known, ideas exchanged, some agreements reached. Nigerians are eagerly awaiting implementation. You're still watching the news. Stay with us as we go in a break. All organization aggrieved by the content of the broadcast or the conduct of a broadcast station may lodge a complaint to the station and all right to the Director General, National Broadcasting Commission, number 20, Ibrahim Taiwo Street, Asokoro, Abuja, or send a mail via info at nbc.gov.ng. Please ensure that your complaint includes name of the broadcast station, title of the program, date and time of broadcast, and essence of the complaint. Also remember to include your name, address, telephone number, email, and append your signature. Note that a complaint must reach the NBC within 14 days of the queried broadcast. NBC, your right to quality broadcasting. Welcome back. In an era of depreciating life expectancy, attaining the Diamond Jubilee age of 60 is no doubt a remarkable feast worth of, worthy of celebration and gratitude to God. It was for this reason that Dr. Tyro and Mr. Kendi Apolabi rolled out the drums to celebrate God's faithfulness on their 60th birthday. Correspondent Bumi Oni was part of the service at the new, newly built Samson Apolabi Anglican Church, Luba Road, Jebode, by the celebrants to honor God for witnessing this glorious day. The report. For the celebrants, Dr. Taiwo and Mr. Kendi Afolabi, it has been 60 years of unprecedented achievement that calls across business and family life. The Thanksgiving service at the newly built Samson Afolabi Anglican Church, Luba Road, by the celebrants, is to return all glory to God for his benevolence. The service, which was conducted by Very Reverend Peter Rotimi Oludipe, the Bishop of the Njebu Anglican Diocese and other clerics in the Anglican Communion, had in attendance the cream de la cream of the society. Among others are Chief Olushegun Obasanjo, Governor of Open State, Prince Dapo Abiodun, Yeye Olufunsho Amosun, Otumbag Binga Daniel, the Orni of Ife, Obade Yeye Ogunwusi, Oluwo of Iwo, Obadu Rashid Akonbi. In a sermon which was inched on one life, very reverend Rotimi Oludipe congratulated the celebrants on their attainment of the diamond age of 60, urging them to continue to make positive impacts in the lives of people, Right Reverend Rotimi Oludipe noted that the celebrants have made tremendous impact in the service of God and humanity, describing them as a worthy role that can be emulated. He therefore prayed for God's interrupted favor and protection on the celebrants and their family. The church joined the celebrants and their families in the special sisterhood birthday thanksgiving, after which birthday song was sung for them. The plague of the newly built church and births were dedicated to the glory of God and the service of humanity. 
by the Bishop of Ijebu Anglican Diocese. after which the newly built family house, which was in the same premises of the church, was also dedicated. Dignitaries at the event wished the celebrants well and also prayed for them. I pray that God Almighty continues to answer their prayers and grant the desires of their hearts. I pray that God Almighty allows them to reap the fruits of their hard labor, allows them to live to see their great-grandchildren all in good health and in Jesus' mighty name. Well, a great man, very hardworking. We are very proud of what he has achieved. And at 60, we can only wish him the best of health, bigger and greater success ahead. I think for him, the best is just to come. For one of the twins and his wife, the Lord has been merciful to them. When you are hardworking, God Almighty will give you something. And only you know that you see. You have to be hard We don't have to be lazy. A wonderful friend, a wonderful partner, a wonderful in every aspect of life. He has been there for us. He's our mentor. He's our daddy. He's our law. He's everything to us. The A5 Grand Hall was lit up to entertain friends and well wishers of the celebrant, where guests were treated to sumptuous delicacies. Family members and loved ones showered and come on the celebrants. He believes in God, relies on God, and trusts God explicitly. It's a man that I know that stands only by the grace and mercy of God. It's somebody that we look up to and we would love to, to be like him one day. Mary Mess continues with live play from a well-known live band. In Ijebode, Bumi Oni, NT News. Congratulations to the celebrant. The elderly hope widow would, especially the pain or trauma faced by this group of persons, is focused as Nigeria joins the rest of the world to observe International Widows Day. Our correspondent, Ungozi Technical, took uh, take a look at the effects of change of painful tales of widowhood which led to culture or traditional norms the report for loved ones of the deceased this is more traumatic for women who turn widows due to the death of their husbands the tales of widowhood are that of rejection neglect stigmatization and harmful practices where the bereaved in some cultures are labeled killers and forced to drink water used to wash the cups to prove their innocence. Then after she's accused of killing her husband, then there has tussles between her inheritance. Usually they have issues with sexual gender-based violence. All of them are seen as a sex tool. Going by global statistics, there are 258 million widows out of which Nigeria has over 8 million. The figure is envisaged to increase due to cases of insecurity and diseases. This widow, Rachel, shares her experience. I do mama put by then. Wake three o'clock to set fire before I finish cooking. Now start walking because I passed through a lunch. My children for a good five years, none of them went to school. They are at home. No school fees. Poverty has been identified as a major challenge faced by widows which non-governmental organizations are complementing government efforts through empowerment programs. Interestingly, there are stringent sanctions to protect the rights of widows, especially with the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act, VAP. Encourage them to draft it because nobody knows tomorrow. And in that will, he will identify all his properties. He will equally give uh, directives of how those properties will be shared. So before you contemplate death, it is not allowed for you to delay that action, apportioning a particular part of the property to him or her. 
As the world marks yet another International Widows' Day, stakeholders are advocating for more empowerment in addressing the plights of widows. In Abuja, Ngozi Technico, NTA News. And that does it on the news for tonight. But for well, let's take a look at some of the major stories. APSA's national chairman says the party is working to stem the tide of defection. Nigeria aviation sector receives boost with foreign partnership in training and investment. Correspondent on special report examines the plight of widows as the world mark widows day. Thanks for staying with us. The Yoruba translation of the news comes up immediately with a building as you pull out the with us in the end. Shalla, ni se agbe kale ibuto iyawo ro igbalode si ilu bi ni oba iwa re so yi lakoko to n gba le jo minister fun itu abile iyan ra o fare gbe sola so sala yi pe igbese ijoba apapo yi yo mu ediku ba isoro ti ilu edo ati ti ipinle beta nkuju ifo e mo akafo lo jabo ero ni ohun kan gbogi eyi to se pataki nile se awon osise ojo ofurufu ni lati se amugbo ore fowo so wopo pelu ile ekere ti eyi le tun bo mu ilo siwaju ba okowo ati gboke gbodo oko ni orilede yi ni bayi a o da duro die fun ro si ti ranpe royi se tesi waju I want the equipment I need to do my job. I want a police that won't harass or arrest me for no just reason. I want to be valued for my work, not feared by honest people. I want a police that won't ask me anything for the boys. I want a decent salary that is paid on time. <laughs> With good laws, proper funding, training, and cooperation. If it happens, if it happens, if it happens. A cup of pada. Offer Guinea last in my young Lord Logo. No passion, she wants your joy, Benny. A yellow mudok is as I will at your Benny can there for Lavi. She a joy, a joy, a joy, your daughter. Odun won lo keje. Akoro yin wa bumi o ni ba won pe ju sibi etu na. Ni ile ijosun Samson Afolawo ti jo Anglica Luba Ijebu Ode. Gbogbo agbaye lo ti darapo mo sise ayajo ojo awon opo. Eyi to je gbo kan fun awon eniyan kan. Akoro yin wa Ngosi Bojuwo igbiyanjo ati se aye pada. Ogbe yi eyi ti o wa pada di asha. 
Ti a to mu royin ta sale ni wa si pa mo e je kaye koko nu re wule kan si Awon o sise oju ofurufo ti se ifowo so wo pelu ajo oloko wile ko ri lakuto akoro yin bojuwo iroro okan awon opo gege bi won ti se nse ayajo ojo won lagbaye so ki du koko so ki bayi lo goju nibi la re mo fun royin ta sale ni emi oni royin abi odun ajibola ajijola na bi lo n dagbere fun yin pe o ma ile la osin